What up guys, welcome to another episode of Moonshot Monday. Today we're gonna to talk about how Tesla could be potentially making billions from the cloud. Data centers are massive consumers of energy and all these tech companies that are running their data centers, Apple, Amazon, Facebook, Google, wanna do it sustainably. So they're building renewable energy supplies to power their data centers. There's a really big problem and missing link here batteries. Let me tell you why. Data centers have a super consistent need for power. Think about it. The servers are always on. They're always running. Meanwhile, the sun only shines at certain times. One day it could be rainy. The wind is also very finicky. So these renewable energy sources have a very inconsistent supply of energy for something that needs a very consistent supply. How do we balance that out? Tesla's battery technology couldn't be a more perfect fit. And in fact, Amazon already announced a partnership with Tesla to trial out a 4.8 megawatt hour project back in early 2015 when Tesla Energy was just getting off the ground. Since then, they've been pretty quiet, but I wanted to pitch on this episode a partnership between Amazon and Tesla to give Tesla batteries to supply AWS data centers with the backup power they're gonna need if they really wanna go fully off the grid. If you go on Amazon's website, they'll already tell you that they're producing 2,600 megawatt hours annually of renewable energy already. You just saw uh, Tesla get a bunch of hype in the news for announcing a deal with Kauai to build a massive solar and battery farm there to power about 10% of the homes on the island. So that entire project only used 52 megawatts of batteries. Amazon right now is 2,600 and that number is going to at least double because they need to meet all of their energy demands, not just half of them. So we have an additional 2.6 million megawatt hours of energy that are gonna need to get stored by Amazon coming online. Now, I'm not saying Amazon will have to buy 2.6 million megawatt hours of batteries because I don't know the conversion between energy generation and battery storage. I actually, if anyone of our HyperChange viewers has more insight into this and could somehow calculate based on Amazon's energy needs, the potential revenue opportunity for Tesla, that would be awesome because we're asking for your help here. But my back of the math calculation says this could potentially be a billion dollar opportunity for Tesla just to partner and power AWS. Elon Musk just tweeted that he would help solve South Australia's energy crisis in a matter of 100 days by installing 100 megawatts of batteries. The most important part of that though is he moved to open pricing for Tesla's batteries. He gave them an open quote on Twitter for $250 per kilowatt hour. As we can extrapolate that from a 100 megawatt hour project in Australia, Tesla will be generating approximately 25 million in battery revenue. So I took this 2.6 million megawatt hours that Amazon is generating annually and I divided it by 365. Why? Because they only need to store it at night. That's only about 7,000 megawatt hours of storage that Amazon is going to need if they put all of their renewable energies into Tesla batteries, these 7,000 megawatt hours will lead to approximately to about 1.8 billion in revenue for Tesla. That's less than half of AWS's energy needs. It just goes to illustrate that Tesla's batteries have enormous potential. The cloud is only going to keep growing exponentially. Let's take the Snap IPO. In their S1 filing, Snapchat even outlines that they're spending two billion on the Google cloud in the next five years, a billion on the Amazon cloud in the next five years. So why is all this happening? Why is Tesla gonna make billions on the cloud? You guys using Snapchat and watching Netflix on your phone is creating mega need for more cloud storage, which means mega need for more electricity, which means mega batteries to store it. The point is Tesla's battery business gets me so amped. Look at it with just as much potential as the car business in the long term. And I think in the short term, the first and biggest and most important partnership Tesla could sign would be powering the leading cloud service provider AWS with sustainable energy. Shout out to one of our viewers, Nicholas Bodner, who gave us an awesome tip. He's also a writer for Seeking Alpha. We're gonna put his link in the profile. He uh, showed us that Limonera, a company that produces 7% of all the lemons we consume in the US, they're also the US's largest avocado grower. They've had a super long commitment to sustainability. Well, last week at the Roth conference, they just announced that they're working with Tesla to go fully off the grid as well. They win our award for quirkiest Tesla battery use case so far. If you find anything more like that, please let us know. Anyway, that's HyperChange, Moonshot Monday. See you guys next time.